wetlands and some of the worst wetlands I've been in have been wet sort of from the bottom up and it's raining from the top down and it's absolutely freezing cold but, but they're special places. They tend to be places that most people didn't like to go in because they were wet and <laughs> not so nice but to me they were more interesting because there's so many forests around New Zealand they tend to be um, fairly consistent whereas you go to wetlands and these are special places where because of different environmental conditions, the plants are different. In spite of their values, um, our current wetlands are steadily degrading through ongoing, ongoing drainage and pollution and invasive pests and weeds. And there's a real need now to have effective restoration strategies that are practical and easily available. So this was a knowledge gap that our wetland team sought to address. Uh, so we've recently published a handbook on the restoration of freshwater wetlands and, and this pulls together years of research as well as uh, best practice and case studies from community groups and organisations that are restoring wetlands all around New Zealand. And it covers project planning and technical aspects such as uh, how to restore hydrology, uh, vegetation and also the native animals and also how to monitor and protect the wetland. We're very proud of it. It's, it's essentially a coffee table book because Monica Peters of Lancare Trust, she's very artistic and it came across beautifully with beautiful photos and lovely layouts. So she just took the, the basic text and the content and produced this wonderful, wonderful book.